What's up, YouTube? This is C Dog back with another review. This time it's on the Transformers, Hiratomi Transformers movie, The Best, Dino Ride Strafe, and Bumblebee. This is MB10. Uh, sorry, I, I apologize about not getting any reviews out lately. I've been in pain all weekend. My tooth, gum, it's all infected, and I've been sleeping, so uh, fun. But I'm trying to get this done. Hopefully this won't hurt too much. Um, it's getting better. So anyways, here's the box. So we got the box here. Looking very cool. I like how they got the the real Bumblebee's mask on them. I'm like, they did the toy. They never gave us a toy with that mask. Other than this figure right here. So they did give us one, at least. Thanks, Takara. So that's the front of the box. You got a little kind of... Bumblebee jumping up to swoop there. <laughs> Nod free there, Lunar. Anyways, there's uh, Optimus riding Grimlock. Got a little art of strafe there. Here's that picture there. Takara Tommy. Transformers movie the best. Got the same thing on the side. We got Shockwave, Grimlock, Bumblebee, and Prime. And Transformers. And then 2007. Which is strange, but they have that on some and not the others. And then on the back, it shows a couple little pictures. Get the same kind of art over here on the side. Uh, movie stills. And then we got a picture of B, Strafe, and then him riding Strafe as well. And then the bottom. So, without further ado, let's get into the review. Alright, so I wanted to show off an update on Grimlock before I go any further. I showed you how there's a slot in there, but there's also peg holes on the bottom of his feet, and there's a couple pegs here. These are all remolded on the, they're not on the original Grimlock, so you have two peg holes here, and Optimus can also stand on them, because remember when he stood on them and then he jumped off and he sliced all the, the faux Decepticons? So yeah, he could stand on them as well. I just wanted to show that off. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted, so I wanted to show that off before we get into Swoop. And then this is Swoop. Get Grimlock's mace out of the way. Or sorry, this is a Strafe. <laughs> My friend's got me all mixed up now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So he's got ball jointed hips and nice knees. He's got little feet that move around a little bit. He's got some kind of airbrushed silver for his tail. Nice bendy tail. Doesn't get in the way of anything. It does have a little bit of articulation. I believe you can move it up a little bit. Stuff like that. His wings are on translucent blue. Like it's transclearant, as MGO would say. And we got ball jointed. It's like swivel jointed necks where you can uh, they have swivel like this. They swivel up here. And they swivel here. Bunch of joints. And they also swivel here. And they also have mouths that open. So, very cool. Good job, Hasbro and Takara. I think that's just the way they were in the package there. That's that's more correct. Then we have... These are on pins, but they don't seem to swivel like the other ones did. I think my Hasbro is dead, though. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, he can move his arms, too, if he want. Goes up and down. He also has a swivel joint here. We'll check that more out in robot mode. But he stands, no problem. You just get him to stand up here like this. And then Bumblebee, just like I showed with Optimus actually, uh, stands on these two pegs. I'll show you one of them. See? He's got some peg holes on his feet. A couple pegs. Same thing on the other side. And this is Bumblebee himself. Let's get a nice little close-up view of him. So, that's what Bumblebee looks like. Oops, sorry, bumping the camera. It's very cool looking. He's got the right battle mask that he never had in the toy. Nice details on his arms. He's got the arm cannon, the correct arm cannon. His wheels behind his shoulders. Nice painted details. Got painted helmet, chest. Shoulders, arms, knees, thighs, and feet. He's also, all this gray uh, gunmetal is also paint. 
some of it is. Like the legs are or gunmetal paint, the chest is gunmetal paint. And then looking at the back of them, it's got a screw going through them. And then to see his articulation, and we'll check him out next to Prime too. Let's see his articulation. Let's just put swoop over here. Your mouth is killing me. Alright, so he's got, he can kick his feet up, back, do the splits a little bit. Um, he doesn't have the slot, so he can't ride Grimlock, but he does have arms as well. And if you notice, the wheels are behind his arms, so his arms can still move, but the wheels still staying in place, which is kind of cool. And then he's also got a swivel waist. So very cool. Hoping they make a few more of these. Because I would definitely be up for getting more. Like a crosshairs and scorn would be neat. And then a hound and what, what's the other one? Uh, let's check out Prime up next to him. Alright, so Prime is actually not the same size. So that's good. He's a little bit taller. That looks really cool. That's a good. That's good. Let me get them to even out a little bit here. It's about like that. So not bad. Good job, Hectacara. Here's what they both look like in hand. Check out my Grimlock review if you haven't seen it yet. Here's what they both look together. Look like together. There's Optimus and Grimlock and Bumblebee riding Strafe. So let's get into transformation. All right. So transformation. We could actually remove him if you wanted, but I'm pretty sure we can just leave him there if you wanted as well. He's going to look a little funny. He's got knees, though, for some reason, which is weird because they didn't really need to give him knees, but we're going to remove him anyway. And to be honest, I haven't transformed this thing since Age of Extinction, but I'm pretty sure I remember. I'm pretty sure these flip down like this. Flip around like that. Yep. So you flip that, spin that. You got that. And, uh, oh shoot, maybe I do need the directions. <laughs> I don't think so. You just flip these and spin these. These kind of go like that. Spin them like that. Like that. This comes up. At least I thought it does. Um, he disconnects from his arms here. He's got a peg, so you can bring his arms down. Just like that, just like that. Then all we gotta do is get his head up to come up, which is giving me a hard time for some reason. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. But you can f spin his uh, his wings down a little bit, straighten up his knees, and we gotta get his head up. Yeah, it just flips up. I'm not sure why it's giving me problems but yeah. there we go let's flip plan like that and there we go he's got ball jointed hips you go out front to back got a thigh swivel he's got a swivel at the thigh and he's also got one right below it or right above it, I mean, sorry. And he's got double jointed knees, if you want to call them double jointed, or you can just use it as a single joint about that far. His feet don't go anywhere. He has a waist swivel, it looks like. Yep. But this tail might get wrapped up a little bit. But he does have a waist swivel. His head is on a little bit of a ball joint. Flips down and up. Does seem to get stuck. It might be something I'm doing wrong, I'm not sure. But... It will turn back and forth. You can move these however you want. His arms will come up on hinges. He's got swivel at the shoulder, at the bicep, elbows, and then he's got swivel wrists. But they're just—it's not even a swivel wrist. It's like it's like up on the it's up on a weird angle. So it's kind of strange, but they're there. His uh. Wings can go up and down, out, 
back in like this so you can fold them behind if you want but I probably leave them like that something like that and then he comes with a couple weapons comes with a couple spears here that comes in the packaging let's check those out all right so that's what he looks like then he's got he's got this kind of a weapon it's got this paint right there and there's one attached here and you can attach the other one there if you want plus he comes with this this is in a cool kind of color let's check it out see if we can get some better lighting so really cool colors it's like a metallic gradient to it. It's got some uh, green wash on it. Really cool. It's got a pop missile that you push forward to shoot. But still really cool. It's swoops. Or uh, strafes gun. So he has a weapon. Yeah. That's pretty much a wrap right there. Like, comment, subscribe, stay awesome, stay sub, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, this week I am going to get to Megatron and Optimus. I give you my word. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, that's the end of the review, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, stay awesome, stay sub, stay tuned for the next video. Peace, I'm out. That's a wrap.